Imagine going back to school after having two children. Sounds tough, doesn't it? Now imagine studying in the same classroom as your 11-year-old son. It takes a lot of courage and determination. This mother of two in Nepal has both. She stopped going to school at the age of 15 when she eloped with her future husband. Now 11 years later, she wants to finish her education. While inspirational, this is also the unfortunate situation in Nepal. Only 40% of women can read and write. 70% of girls drop out of school by 16. It is the untold crisis of Nepalese society. Parvati Sunar is busy dressing up for school. She puts on her uniform, neatly ties up her hair, and heads out with her classmates. Two young boys who also happen to be her children. Sunar abandoned her education at the age of 15. She eloped with her future husband to India. Now, 11 years later, she is back to complete it. I got married at a young age. After that, I went to India with my husband. Everyone used to talk in English over there. I found it very difficult because of not knowing English. It inspired me to learn. Sunar's story is all too common in Nepal. Only 57% women here are literate. 70% of the girls drop out of school by the age of 16. Many of them are married off. According to UNICEF, there are 5 million child brides in Nepal. Sunar too was one of them. She had her first child at the age of 16. Academics are not exactly Sunar's strong suit. But according to the principal, she is a keen learner. She is not as talented, but her son is talented. He has become her support. After school, Sunar returns to her daily life. She lives here in this tin roofed structure. On some days, she gets busy with household chores, like feeding the goats or cooking. On other days, she heads to the local computer center with her son. How do other students react to Parvati Sunar? They are surprisingly welcoming. When I study, I help sister in studies and she helps me too. She scolds me when I don't do my homework. Sunar's husband is still back in India. He works as a laborer in the southern city of Chennai. Occasionally, she speaks to him over video call. <laughs> Sunar's family belongs to the Dalit community. They slot in at the bottom of the Hindu caste system, so the challenge is multifold. Gender bias is ingrained in Nepalese culture. The country ranks 115th out of 162 countries on the Gender Equity Index. Legally, a lot of progress has been made. The 2015 constitution guarantees gender equality. It has also reserved 33% of seats in policy making for women. But the mindset is yet to change. Nepal has one of the highest child marriage rates anywhere in the world. Girls are either denied schooling or drop out before college. That needs to change. Women like Parvati Sunar must become the norm, not the exception. South Asia Bureau, we on World is One.